CNN has learned a House Intelligence Subcommittee is scheduled to hear from CIA security officers in Benghazi who are expected to tell a much more detailed story on what went on the night Ambassador Chris Stevens and three others were killed in a terrorist attack. The men, described by sources to CNN as former Navy SEALs, former Army Special Forces, and former Marines, were under contract to guard CIA agents on the ground. The security officers were among those who responded when Ambassador Stevens' compound was attacked on the night of September 11th. Sources tell CNN they will appear behind closed doors in a classified congressional hearing the week of November 11th. Members of Congress have been trying to get access to them and to other actual CIA agents, but as CNN has been reporting, those attempts, at least to date, have failed. Sources tell CNN only one CIA operative who was in Benghazi during the attacks has gone before the House Intelligence Committee. Frustrated congressmen have told CNN they have been unsatisfied with the investigation so far conducted by House Intelligence Committee Chairman Republican Mike Rogers. Though Rogers' staff defends the work of the committee, previously telling CNN the exhaustive review has included nine full committee hearings, roundtable discussions with some administration officials, and interim report, and a vow that the investigation continues. But still, according to sources, only one of the estimated nearly two dozen CIA operatives on the ground has testified before members of Congress. Fred Burton, a former State Department diplomatic security agent, has written a book about the Benghazi attack, now being turned into an HBO movie. Congress, as well as the agency, are going out of their way to protect whatever it was that they were doing operationally in Libya. And sources say the CIA has been trying to keep its employees quiet. CNN reported earlier that some operatives involved in the agency's missions in Libya complained they have been subjected to frequent, even monthly, polygraph examinations to find out whether they've spoken to Congress or the media, according to sources with deep inside knowledge of the agency's workings. The CIA says this is patently false telling CNN not a single CIA officer who was on the ground in Benghazi during the attacks has been subjected to any CIA polygraph intended to discourage them from speaking to Congress or as a retaliation, adding that to date some of these officers have already spoken to the oversight committees on Benghazi. CNN has heard from congressmen who are unconvinced they are getting the whole truth. One congressman tells CNN on condition of anonymity. We know what the CIA tells us they were doing in Libya, but it is unclear if we really know what the agency was up to. Andrew Griffin joins me now. So we've been trying to get answers ourselves on what happened in Benghazi because there seems to be so many unanswered questions, right? Right. And Anderson, the members of Congress don't want this information filtered, which is what you get in these briefings and documents. They want it straight from the participants, and there are three basic questions. What was the CIA doing in Libya? There have been allegations the CIA was operating a gun-running program with guns going from Libya to Syrian rebels. We're going to be very transparent. A senior U.S. intelligence official telling us tonight that's not true, saying that U.S. officials in Benghazi in no way were involved in transferring arms to the rebels in Syria or any other conflict zone before or after the Benghazi attacks. The second question, Anderson, what are the details of the failed rescue attempts? These are what the family members want to know. We've heard a group of would-be rescuers at that CIA annex were armed and ready to go within minutes of the attack. Four minutes, quite frankly. They were held off until finally they on their own decided to go ahead and stage a rescue. Congressmen want to know why the wait. And finally, that overhanging political question, did the administration know immediately this was a planned terrorist attack? And if so, why did administration officials try to first claim it was a spontaneous riot surrounding an anti-Muslim movie? Those are the questions members of Congress have been telling us they want to get answered, Anderson, and now they may get those answers in just the next few weeks.